Hi, I'm Jason Collins, and this video is on the concept of loss aversion. Loss aversion is the concept that losses loom larger than gains. People feel more strongly about a loss than they do an equivalent gain, so are often willing to reject gambles with a materially positive expected value. For example, if someone feels losses with twice the feeling of gains, a 50-50 bet to win $550, lose $500, will be very unattractive. This provides an alternative explanation to the absurd levels of risk aversion required to reject this bet. This equation is an example of the value function with loss aversion. The value of x is equal to x, where x is greater than or equal to zero, and 2x, where x is less than zero. x is the outcome relative to the reference point. In this value function, losses result in twice the change in value as an equivalent gain. For example, suppose someone is given $100. If their initial reference point is the wealth before receiving the $100, X will be $100. Therefore, the utility is plus 100. If the same person instead loses $100, their utility would be minus 200. This plot shows the increased effect of the loss under this value function. The greater slope of the curve in the loss domain, leading to a kink where the axes intercept, is indicative of the greater effect of losses. The endowment effect is often used to illustrate loss aversion. Kahneman and friends ran one of the most famous and replicated experiments in economics. They randomly assigned a free mug to members of a group and asked how much money they would accept for returning the mug. In other words, willingness to accept. The remaining participants were only shown a mug and asked about their willingness to pay for the mug. Kahneman and friends found that the willingness to accept, $5.75, was substantially higher than the willingness to pay, $2.25. The endowment effect is this phenomenon where people impute additional value to the items they own. The endowment effect is argued to be, an to be an empirical expression of loss aversion. Willingness to accept is higher as it is payment to incur the loss of the mug. The endowment effect has been found in real estate markets, the stock market, with basketball tickets, and in other domains. The following example illustrates. Bruce has the following reference dependent value function. The value of X, equals x, where x is greater than or equal to zero, and 2x, where x is less than zero. x is the outcome relative to the reference point. Assume Bruce has preferences over money, m, and mugs, c, as in this value function. rm is Bruce's reference point as it relates to money, and rc is his reference point as it relates to mugs. The value of any change relative to the reference point is equal to the value of the amount of money he has relative to the reference point amount of money, plus the value of five times the number of mugs or cups that Bruce has minus five times his reference point number of mugs. To illustrate how this value function works, imagine Bruce has two mugs and he drops one. It breaks. His change in the value function is as follows. The value of x equals the value of five times his number of mugs minus five times his reference point number of mugs. That in turn equals the value of five times one mug, which is his current number of mugs, minus five times two mugs, which is his reference point number of mugs, which equals the value of minus five, and that in turn equals minus 10, as the value of x equals two x when x is less than zero. The loss of a mug results in a value of minus 10. At the beginning of an experiment, Bruce is given a mug. Assuming Bruce's reference point adapts such that, he, such that he considers this mug his, how much would Bruce need to be paid to give up the mug? We can calculate this by calculating what payment P would make Bruce indifferent between losing the mug and gaining P dollars. This is the point where, after losing the mug and receiving payment, Bruce's change in value is equal to zero. We assume a reference point to money of his current wealth, 
and are instructed that his reference point for mugs is ownership of the mug. So the value of X, this change, equals the value of the amount of money he has minus his reference point amount of money, plus the value of five times his number of mugs minus five times his reference point number of mugs. This in turn equals the value of uh, W plus P, which is how much money he has after he receives the payment P for the mug, minus W, that is his reference point level of wealth. And that is plus the value of five times the number of mugs he ends up with, which is zero, minus five times his reference point number of mugs, which is one. Simplifying that down, it equals the value of P plus the value of minus five. And then applying our value function, that in turn equals P minus two times five. And the minus two comes from the fact that losses, uh, a loss of X uh, equals um, value of minus two at six. P minus two times five equals P minus 10. So P equals 10. Bruce would need to be paid at least $10 to give up the mug. Giving up the mug is seen as a loss and given greater weight than the money gained. Now assume Bruce was not given a mug, but rather an opportunity to purchase a mug. How much would Bruce be willing to pay for the mug? We can calculate this by calculating what payment P would make Bruce indifferent between gaining the mug and losing P dollars. That is what the point where after receiving the mug and making payment, Bruce's change in value is equal to zero. We assume a reference point for money of his current wealth and are instructed that his reference point for mugs is no mug. In that case, the value of X again equals the value of his amount of money he has minus the reference point amount of money, plus the value of five times the number of cups he, or mugs he has minus five times his reference point number of mugs. This in turn equals the value of W minus P. So that is uh, the amount of money he has after making payment minus W his reference point amount of money. And that in turn is plus the value of five times one. So one being the number of mugs he has after receiving the mug minus five times zero, zero being his reference point number of mugs. That in turn equals the value of minus P plus the value of five. And again, given that losses are multiplied by two, that equals minus two P plus five. So with the value of X equaling zero at his point of indifference, P equals 2.5. The most Bruce would be willing to pay for the mug is $2.50. He sees the foregone money as a loss. So it is given greater weight than the mug gained. <laughs>